and welcome to our webinar today. This is Yama from Hacker Robot Machine Vision Technical Support Team. This is our, uh, the topic I will talk about today. Beyond the boundaries, I will talk about how to use the 2.5 dimension vision for superior uh, product inspection. And today I will focus on two different uh, 2.5 dimension vision solutions. Uh, the first technology is called phase measuring deflectometry, and the second one is called the uh, photometric stereo. I will start from this one, the phase measuring deflectometry 2.5 dimension technology. So the first question is that why we use 2.5D? It's from some pain points we have in the vision inspection act on the surface of glossy work pieces such as the metal glass or film and also the transparent work piece are difficult to be recognized due to the reflections and also in the 3d vision solutions the uh, gloss, uh, glossy surface also have the uh, severe reflection under the uh, laser profiling so it will also make the defect detection very difficult and the detection accuracy for the fine scratches and shallow surface roughness is insufficient in the 3D vision solutions. So it is uh, unable to detect the planar def uh, de defects such as the dirt. So normally the solution will be used the manual vision inspection, but it cannot meet, uh, meet the requirement of the efficiency. That is why that is why we need to perfect the vision system. And then I will talk about the uh, working principle. So first, I will show you two different images to uh, let you have a basic concept of this technology. So uh, what is 2.5D? So let's imagine that uh, here we have a line scan camera, and this is a light. And when there's uh, something uh, at here and the uh, vector of the surface will change, we will see another uh, position on the light. So on the right image, we can have a more clear uh, concept because uh, we can see clearly that uh, when, uh, when we use a stripe light, we project it on the surface. When there is no defect, it will be normal at, uh, like this. But if there is something uh, like some small bump here, we will see the stripe like this. So the next slides, I will go in deeper. Uh, so this page is to, to tell like a uh, more detailed principle, but it's not uh, all of the technology. So uh, the solution we talk about today, the uh, phase measuring deflectometry, uh, the principle is like this. So let's imagine that uh, this is the camera and the light. And now in the camera, we can see the point of S0. Uh, in, on the light, and the distance uh, between the this reflection point and the uh, light is L, and this line is vertical to this one. And then let's imagine that now there is a surface change, uh, the, the surface change to an angle of, of theta, and also the vector will change to an angle of theta. So at this moment, uh, because of the reflection, we will then see the point at here, which is the S1. And the angle between the S0 and the S1 is two theta. So now based on the image here, we can calculate the distance between S0 and the S1. So according to some mathematical calculation, uh, the distance between the S0 and S1 is L multiple tangent uh, to theta. So then if we uh, turn this process back, if we know the distance between SO and S1, and we know the distance of L, we can calculate the tangent two theta value. And with the tangent two theta value, we can know the tangent theta. And if we know uh, the tangent theta of one point of the surface, we actually know the gradient of, at this point. And with different gradient on different uh, position on the surface, we can know uh, what is the uh, 3D image, uh, 3D shape of this, this surface. So this is just an idea, but the, uh, the principle is more complex. So we are not actually using the uh, distance directly, we are using the wave. So you can see that the light is actually uh, 
projected uh, under the uh, like a sign distribution under the light. So there is the phase. So uh, when the uh, there is some uh, unfair surface, the uh, phase will change at this point. Thus, we can know the uh, gradient of the, we, we can calculate the gradient of the surface by this way. And also we have two direction. The first is on X direction and the second on the, on the Y direction. And there are two working mode in the 2.5 dimension uh, working uh, system. So the first one is the transmission mode. Uh, this, this kind of mode is suitable for the transparent object. And the second one is the reflection mode is suitable for the highly reflective objects. So then I'm going to introduce our high robot full stack self-developed the uh, 2.5 dimension system. It is combined with several parts. First part is the uh, light controller. The second part is our light scan camera. And we also have a programmable or self-developed the programmable light source. And also we provide the industrial PC and the frame grabber connected with the system. This is our self-developed, the programmable uh, stripe light. So it has a built-in mode, a multiple mode stripe pattern. Uh, it, will, it will be projected on the surface. And uh, in our solution, it will project uh, eight different kind of the stripe. So these are the eight different lights, uh, stripe light we will uh, project it on the surface. So here is a question that why we need this kind of the eight uh, different lights. So first is because if we only have one direction, we can only get the gradient of one direction. So we need the both the uh, gradient of the X and Y uh, direction to get the uh, to get the accurate uh, gradient on the each on the point on the surface. Secondly, why we need you can see that there. For each direction, we projected uh, four different lights. So why we projected these four lights? So uh, these four lights will be projected with the uh, phase difference of the 90 degree. So we can see the image here. We can see the image here. Uh, with these four different lights on each point, we can actually see the, uh, four, the image on the four different brightness so that it can help to show the characteristics of the both bright and dark field. So we can see the, the image here looks different. Then under this, uh, with this uh, different images, uh, after our self-developed -develop algorithm, uh, the system will generate six different images. The first one we call it a standard image. It's just a normal image from the light scan camera. <laughs> so it used to um uh, to master all images and uh, position all the corrections uh, sources. The second one we call it the specular image. It is the extraction of the specular component for the detection of the uh, scarf and or scratches on the glossy surface. The third one, we call it a diffuse image. It is used to extract the uh, diffuse reflective uh, component to detect the before ring object observed. And the fourth one, we call it a glossy ratio image. So uh, this image is a division of the specular and the diffuse image. So why we do this kind of the uh, division is uh, it's because that let's imagine there is some uh, high reflection point so this high reflection point will get a very high value in the specular image, and it will be a very low, small value in the diffuse image. And then after this division, we use a very high value to divide a very small value. Thus, we can this high value will be larger than before. And also, if it is a very diffuse point, it will be a very low value in the specular image, and it will get a high value in the diffuse image. So a small value divide a large value. This value will be smaller. So by the gross, uh, gross ratio image, we can make the difference larger. And the fifth one and the sixth one is the shape figure. So it's like a, like a 3D image, but it doesn't provide the uh, accurate uh, height difference. But it can uh, use it can be used to extract 
the variation of the bump. So uh, shape figure one is for the glossy surface and the figure two is for the matte surface. So uh, we talked about it for a long time, but what is the capability of it? So this is our test result. So as the result for the stripe detection result, it can get the accuracy of 0 0.01 millimeter, uh, like the scratches, uh, like the, the scratches. And for the bump detection result, we can get a accuracy of 0 0.2 millimeter. And on the 0 0.06 millimeter is undetectable. And also our system, now we can meet the need of a different uh, field of view. So it can support for the 2K, 4K, 8K, and the 16K cameras. These are the 2.5 dimension system, uh, visual system we have now. Uh, now we have uh, our system support two different uh, interface. The first one is the external fiber link. And also we can support the camera link version. We support uh, for different uh, resolution, and we have uh, three different uh, field of view for your different uh, work pieces. And then I'm going to introduce some of our cases. So the first one is the blue film battery surface uh, inspection. This is the blue film is uh, part of the uh, lithium industry. And uh, normally, when we do the, uh, when we do the inspection of this one, we have the difficulty of the color and high reflective. Uh, properties on the surface. And uh, you can see that in this, in the 2.5 dimensional image, we can easily find the, like the, including the water droplets and the, uh, and the air bubbles. The second one is also used in the uh, battery. So this is the uh, inspection of the soft pack. And we want to use it to detect the scratch, dents, and other defects on the uh, soft pack battery. The challenge is the uh, black surface. It's uh, very hard to be seen in the 2D scheme. So uh, as the result, we can highlight the defect and easily see all of the scratches here. This is, these are the scratches. These are some of the dots. And the third one is about the metal case uh, detection. This is the metal case of the air conditioners. So it's kind of component. And uh, there is a thin uh, film layer on the metal part. So uh, it's, it will be hard to detect the little scratch and bump and dents and uh, other deformation. But with our 2.5 dimension system, we can use one, system, we can use one light and one camera to inspect all of, to find all of this different here. This is one of the case in the uh, automotive industry. Uh, we call it the o shape ring. We want to inspection, we want to inspect the uh, scratches on the surface. So the challenge is that it's a, it's a black material uh, surface. So it's hard to, the defect by the normal vision solution. But you can see that with our 2.5 dimension system, it's very obvious. Uh, the fourth one is also for the uh, automotive industry. This is something we are very, we are very familiar with in our uh, driving, so it's a safety belt. And we want to detect the uh, appearance. We want to do the inspection on the appearance. So the challenge is that it, it, we, we know that it's a, it's a very high reflective uh, metal surface. So uh, by our 2.5 dimension image, you can easily see the, uh, you can see that it's very obvious in this image. Uh, in the normal 2D image, it's hard to see the uh, scratch, but with our 2.5 D uh, image, it's very obvious. And also some lifting here, and this is dent. Also, we can see some of the uh, shape difference here. So apart from the normal high, reflect, uh, high reflective surface, uh, here comes uh, another uh, case for the transparent surface. So this is one of our cases that do the uh, inspection on the uh, transparent surface. This is the glass. 
So uh, in, normally there is a challenge that the optical components have significant reflection, uh, reflection or the, the transmissions. And uh, the, normally the defect will be very highly similar to the background. But with our 2.5 dimension system, it will use the transmission mode and it's very easy to see the dent on it. Okay, what I talked before is about the uh, is about the line scan uh, 2.5 dimension system. And then I'm going to talk about the, the second one is called a uh, photometric stereo system. So uh, this kind of system have two different uh, two different modes. The first one is by the aero scan camera, the second one is by the line scan camera. So for the uh, for the static and the dynamic situations. Uh, these are two images to easily explain the, what is the principle. You can see that, let's imagine we have a camera and we have a ball. And uh, if we put three different lights uh, on three, direct, three directions, we can easily see a different image of the ball. And based on this, uh, based on these three lights, we can easily imagine that what is the shape of this uh, target. And also it's very obvious on the right image. On the light from four directions, it's easy for us to repute what is the shape of this target. So this is our this is high robot uh, two point five dimensional system. We use the dome light. Uh, we capture the surface image of the samples, and uh, and you, we use the photometric stereo algorithm to extract the gradient information of the sample surface, so that with this kind of uh, light, it's possible for us to avoid the influence of the like the color similarity interference, the matte materials, and the complex background. So compare with the uh, with shift uh, photo uh, the technology of uh, this. Uh, this top light uh, 2.5 dimension system is mainly used on the matte and roof material surface. And we support area scan and line scan uh, two mode for static and dynamic situations. And uh, this light also supports the white light and the infrared light. So uh, with this kind of uh, solution, this uh, solution will generate three different images. The first one is the uh, gray image, so it can show the texture uh, information. And also it can show the contour image, it can show the contour information of the surfaces, uh, roughness of the, of the object. And also the third image, it will show the depth image, and also it's like a 3D image, but it doesn't provide the accurate uh, height difference. But we can use it for the uh, defect, for the defect detection. These are the two modes of the uh, solution. And here is uh, one of the case we have. Uh, this is the case to uh, do the detection on the square cell battery covers. It's also used in the lithium, lithium industry. So we want to do the defect detection of the uh, upper cover plate of the uh, cylindrical uh, batteries. So the difficulty is that the upper cover plates have a frost, uh, frosted, uh, frosted uh, metal surface which is prone to cause a background interference and reduce the detection rate. So you can see that with our, the, our dome light 2.5 dimensional system, uh, this system can help to eliminate the uh, interference of the roof surface, smooth the image and highlights the uh, uneven defect on the roof surface. This is the gray image we have. And uh, with the depth image, we can easily see a lot of different, the, like the scratch and other defect on it. So these are my introduction today, and uh, if you if you have any question, we can talk about it now.